why hello there. Today, we are going to embark on a magical voyage together to learn all about, wait for it, viscosity. I hope you're as excited as I am. So sit back, relax, and let my magical voice be your guide. Why hello there again. So now that you saw my amazing introduction, let's get a basic definition going. Viscosity is a measure is a measure of the resistance of a fluid which is being deformed by either tensile or shear strength. Viscosity can be measured by either using different types of viscometers or rayometers. To further explain viscosity, we're going to do a little example. Water has a low viscosity. This means it'll flow quickly, as you can see. Gases are also fluids. This means that they have a very low viscosity. Viscosity. This means that it'll flow very, very slowly, as you can see. For some fluids, viscosity is constant over a wide range of shear, shear rates. These are known as Newtonian fluids. Examples include water, air, and other common fluids. A graph showing the behavior of Newtonian fluids shows a linear variation of shearing stress with the rate of shearing strain. non-Newtonian fluids cannot be described by a single number. Non-Newtonian fluids exhibit a variety of different correlations between shear stress and shear rate. Examples of non-Newtonian fluids include latex paint and a water cornstarch mixture. The viscosity of various fluids can be changed with pressure or temperature increases or decreases. We have devised a little experiment for you uh, lovely people to enjoy with honey. We have three different honeys. This first one has just been sitting at room temperature. Now we're going to see how it flows as we put it on a pan. Mmm, look at that honey. See how slowly it flows? because it's very, very viscous. Next, we place the same amount of honey into the freezer for five minutes. And we're going to see how it works. This one is flowing even slower than the room temperature one. This is because the temperature decrease has increased the viscosity of the honey. Finally, took the same amount of honey and heated it up. It's still hot. See how quickly that flows? Because the temperature was increased, the viscosity went down. As you can see, they have an inverse relationship, which caused the honey to flow much, much quicker. Thanks for joining us on this adventure today. I hope you enjoyed listening to my smooth, velvety voice as much as I have. I hope you have a nice day.